last lecture about the difference of the plasmonics and photonics. I made a summary of some key points about the plasmonics and photonics. So, because you will learn the plasmonics and the photonics together, so it's better to okay, connect them and uh, uh, differentiate the, them. It's very, very important. I like to summary. I think about the summary from the people. So, plasmonics, so plasmonics, I think the, the key. You see the surface plasmas. It is a point of the two semi-infinite bond, two semi-infinite medium. Okay, so it's dielectric metal. Okay, it has a surface plasma resonance with a condition in so D plus in so M. There, this is a surface plasma. It is a point with a two semi-infinity uh, layers. But for photonics, okay, this is a, this is for photonics. For photonics, if you want to uh, form some guide you at least you need three layers. It's an air layer, dielectric layer, air layer, or something like this. Okay? Uh, between this uh, middle layer, this dielectric layer, is form a standing point. Form a standing point. Okay? So above and below this, uh, this uh, uh, dielectric layer, this is an evanescent wave. But uh, for the plasma, this is an evanescent wave along the watch point. Okay? Kind of speak, as a decay along the two directions. So this is a high difference. Another is uh, if you want to form a guide wave, D, okay, I mean the thickness of the dielectric layer, D, it should be around, it should be around the half, uh, it's a half dielectric wavelength, half dielectric wavelength. This is called a half wavelength limit, okay? Or else you, you don't have the guide wave, it only has a big angle, okay? But for surface plasma, if you make a surface plasma resonance, it decays very fast along the air, also along the metal. So you can cut, you can cut this semi infinite layer makes very, very thin, okay? The D in here is a maximum and wavelength, it also can be formed a guide wave. So you can break the half of the limit. And this is a uh, one thing, okay? the surface plasma. For local plasma, it's also quite different, okay? For local plasma, when the E is along the R direction, okay, and the C and the phi, are, this is called a TM wave. The E is along the radio direction, and phi is at the transverse plane, we call it a transverse magnetic field in, for the spherical coordinate. Okay, the metal, uh, the sphere, and the dielectric in there. This is called the local plasma, this is an approximation, a resonance condition, okay? It's uh, different from a surface plasma. I think important to say it has a fundamental TM mode. Okay, this is TM mode because the n dot d is not zero, because this is n dot d and not equal to zero, so we can excite the surface plasma. This is a form of dipolar mode. Okay, this is a fundamental TM mode. But for photonic sphere, I think the first fundamental mode is a T mode. It's like a current loop. Okay, it's a current loop. This is a fundamental mode for T mode. So it's also quite different. This fundamental flow is something like this. HR. Okay. Maybe I I I I I draw the directions the align is current is better. This HR, right? This is the E sphere. This is the one from the Okay, you can see it's a current kind of loop. Okay, it's H direction and for anti flow. So this is the uh, so, so this, this is similar to the electrical dipole, this is similar to the magnetic dipole. So it's a high difference. This is electrical dipole, it's a magnetic dipole. So this is uh, another fundamental difference. Structure, I think the difference is still here because for closure structure, the plasmonics, the inner boundary and the outer boundary will coupling uh, by the evanescent uh, wave. They support the surface plasma. Okay, so you can see it's, uh, this is a uh, decay along a two different direction, they can couple each other. But for photonic structure, the D here, if you form a standing wave, the D should be along the half of the dielectric wavelength, or else, because D is very, very thin, you should have a leaking mode. Okay, it's 
that are leakable. But here, you can see the very thing that plasmodic coupling is quite strong. So it's very different. This is the second thing. Okay, that I go on. See what happened. Okay, another interesting thing is about this uh, coupling of the sphere. Okay. If you have an array, if E field is along here, so you have a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. The dipole mode, this dipole mode will couple each other. So original is a lambda, this extinction cross section, this is a single sphere. So when they are coupled, they are red shaped. Okay, this is the polar plus. This is for this. This is uh, interesting to call aggression. Another, if you, if you also say, add E field along here, okay, E field along here, okay, they have a repulsive, okay, they have a repulsive force, repulsive polarity force, so, Lambda, extinction, cross section, okay, this single sphere, they will blue shape, but uh, smaller and the red shape. This is a plus. This is a blue shape. Okay. For dielectric, it also has shifted a little bit, but not significant. Not significant. Also shift. Not significant. Okay. There's something we talk about this. Another thing I want to compare to the plus modis with the G. Microwave. Also, pipe It's plus modis. In optics regime. Okay, here's another color. This is a GEC. The microwave. What's the fundamental difference? Okay, see the first thing, they have a plane wave. It has a plane wave. You can see the plane wave. It has a dipole. This is a tree. Okay, this is a tree. Okay. What is this kind of straight resonance? Okay, what kind of LC circuit field? This is L. Conductor. This is a potential. This is a conductor. Unfortunately, the C because of M so S over D, even the D is smaller, because S here, area, is much smaller equivalence, the C is very large. So here they cannot form up, they only form rest in something like this. This is a half equivalence. This is a half equivalence. This is the equation of maximum. But we do a plane way in the flux modics. Some straight structure, the top view, okay. Okay, this is D here. This is evidence of okay. This is evidence of This is red. This is evidence of This is evidence of wave. The evidence of wave also public. To so that is the resonance. The D here is much smaller than the half of wavelengths. This is the equation in the class model. So here, you can see how this is how this is how this is how So that is the resonance. But further, you also can use the LC circuit. Okay. okay this is L. This is C on the sandals. But the LC value is different. Okay, why is the L because it's so small as the other one? Okay, I understand this LC. Some like some researchers are covered. Another thing, for microwave, you can do this uh, a split ring. You can bend 
Okay, you find a twig, like something like this. You find it. Okay, you find a twig. But here, the total circumference D, okay, the D is around a half of the lens. It can be a resonance, this is a micro. But,
more efficient. Yeah. The competence, this is D. But you this is the top wheel, right? Right. It's top wheel. This is the top wheel. Yeah, top wheel. So S is very small in microwave. So competence is very large. You know, but resistor frequency equals to omega equals to 1 of MC. So if resistor is a high frequency, they cannot be resonant for all structure. They have resonance here, this anyway, they form a spectrum. But here, this is this is surface wave, they can tend to be you know, they have small, the elements are little coupling, so it has the you know, they have the current consumption here. So this is a, like an oscillatory as a whole structure. Okay, so this is quite different. Okay. So this is something quite different in micro and uh, uh, surface process. So the key thing is that it's a elements are wave or surface wave coupling. But for, for you have to have no surface wave not a couple. It's there. So this is a really in microwave. This is by the pine tree. The pine tree is very smart. They, they, they propose this concept because the you know the S, so it's area, common area in lab. Okay. The in lab is S. Okay. So this capacitance become very small. So L over C can resonance in lower frequency. The total size can be smaller than bigger. But here, it's not necessary to that. Okay. This is just smaller than the pump. So in ultra regime, you see it's really, really always like this. But in microwave, you see the like, two kind of differences between really, really. white resonance half wavelengths, white resonance much smaller and half wavelengths. Well, this is really okay. This is something I summer okay. in, in for this microwave and then in uh, ultra region. I think uh, when you when you when you learn the plasmonics, you must uh, you must uh, compare to this different uh, regime. Okay, in, in photonics in, or or in uh, microwave. I think the key thing is uh, why the distance or thickness is seen, the surface plasma will interfere with each other. This is key in plasmonics. Okay. It's all unique. Not for photonics and uh, for microwave regime, this, this, this interaction is quite weak. cannot be. Okay, so uh, let me move on. Because in last lecture, uh, in last lecture, I finished this uh, plus morning coupling, right? This plus morning coupling, they, they kind of severe, blue shaped, blue shaped structure. Okay, so here I thought about the final methods. It's also unique. It's not many optimal in micro people, few people despise this because they have uh, you know, limited application, but in ultra gym application is rich. Okay. What's the meaning of final resonance? Final resonance is a uh, is, uh, clear with only, maybe from my knowledge, people only talk about two kinds of resonance. One is called Lorenz resonance, just one resonance, one resonance. But they have a symmetry spectral, okay, so I just go here. Here. Okay, this is not the resonance. Symmetry, this amplitude is symmetry. Okay. And uh, this phase from the, uh, uh, this is off resonance, and from in phase, like go to out of phase. This, at this point, they have to jump, they have to jump, shut. It has a jump here. So the total change of the phase is high. Okay, this is I over high because it's a 0 0.5 from my version. This is called voluntary shift. Lorenz shift is this for one resonant. Any one resonant has a Lorenz shift. I have a Gaussian. 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 Gaussian is a semiconductor physics. It cannot be applied to the optimal. We can not know Gaussian. This is not the problem of Lorenz shift. This is a Gaussian distribution of Gaussian. It only has a semiconductor physics. It has some low potential C distribution. This is dependent on resonance concept. I call it an EM. It's a field. Another is a, is a final resonance. Final resonance is interference. Okay, this is the first thing. It's a constructive discovery interference. Okay, so they have two kinds of mode. First thing, they have two kinds of mode. One mode is narrow. Okay, and here is Lorentz shift. Another mode is broad. Okay, I mean continuum, but they are broad resonance. Continuum is just, just, just similar to a uh, straight line. It's just actually very broad, or, or maybe uh, some broad resonance. When the interference, they have final resonance. Okay. Final resonance, you can see that it's unsymmetric. Right? The spectral is unsymmetric. Okay, Lorenz is symmetric. Okay. Final is unsymmetric. Another thing is a chain is very sharp. From zero is amplitude one, which is very sharp. So it's 
So this is a feature. So this can be used as a leading sensor switching for nonlinearness. So I like to talk about this the model for the final resonance. What's the, what's the physical concept of the final resonance? Of the So this is a basic model from a couple more theory. Okay. We talk about a couple more theory. But this theory is established by the house and developed by the Shapley fan Stephen Johnson. It's the MIT group. So you can see this is a physical picture for this final resonance. This is a resonant. This resonator has a bright mode. What's the meaning of bright mode? Or what we call a couple mode. A bright mode means that the plane wave can inside this mode. Okay? This is one resonator, maybe a sphere. If I put a sphere in free space, I shine the plane wave, the mode can be inside. It's called bright. Okay? We call it bright. It has a radiation channel because it's coupling from free space. Another mode we call the dark mode. Okay? Typically, bright mode has a broad broad uh, bandwidth. Why? Because they couple the free space, they have a broad bandwidth. Because they have leaky locks or radiation locks. Okay, so it has a broad bandwidth. Oh, okay. It's not regarding the type of frequency. Frequency, they have bandwidth. Because they couple the free space, they have leaky locks, they have a broad bandwidth. It's dark mode, I mean, this dark mode cannot couple the free space only. Or if, maybe that's a colorful mode. Colorful mode, I shine this plane wave, we cannot inside a colorful mode. It's called high order. It's, it's cannot be inside of brain wave, okay? But they can excite the by the bright mode when they close to each other. When they close to each other, okay? So I just give uh, another physical picture. Maybe I can show you the problem is not that broad. Uh, no, not that broad. Yeah. This is a good Right. So let's see. It's a two resonant. This is bright. This is dipole, okay? You can see I polarized a lot here. It's minus, it's positive. It's dipole, okay? I, 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 here you can see it's neg positive, negative, positive, negative. This is a polar But if I without this, without this dipole, I shun the plane wave, it cannot excite this. Because the net dipole is to zero. Okay? Cannot excite. They only excite when they are very near. From a bright mode, I can excite that mode. Okay? So this is a critical concept. So I go down. So come. So what the 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 bandwidth the bright mode should be larger than the dark mode. Why? Because it has the leaky locks. The dark mode cannot. Here, I, I ignore the only locks and that I can add that. Okay. I, I only talk about the leaky locks. Okay. So this is a physical picture. This is a Gaudi equation. This is a simple equation. Okay. So I, I, because I talk about this, I just uh, you say this. A B here is a uh, revamped bright, a D is dark. Okay. This is a formal Gaudi equation. A uh, dB over dt is I omega b. Okay, here is oscillatory part. Okay, that means the, the mode is harmonic oscillator. They have decay. Okay, because they have the decay loss, they have a relation channel. They have decay. Okay. okay, according to reciprocity theory, so they, the incident wave, the incident wave as well as in, incoming wave or incident wave also have affection to this b. Okay, this is this part. Then. I add this part with it. This is an interaction with a dark mode to bright mode. So I add I to the C D. This is important. But for D field, for D field, okay, it's quite different. Here is the same because the resonant. This is a coupling between a bright mode, but no incident wave, right? No decay wave. Why? Because it does not couple to the Free plane wave, right? Plane wave cannot excite this way. So then they have no listen to terms. Okay, this is a contact. This is a circuit model. This circuit model. B is a bright one. B is bright. D is dark. This is a couple more zero. So this model is something like this. This is LC, LB, CB. Okay, this is a harmonic oscillator. Okay. The R is a radiation loss or leaky loss. This is similar to Tina. Here, it only has LC, okay? But they couple each other. They couple each other. So this is a circuit model. The total model depends on the structure that you have, physical structure. Uh, yeah, the different yeah, parameters, you, can, you must check that. This is the intuitive model, so you can use the other. The intuitive model is very important. If you learn physics, you must use the intuitive model. If you use a full simulation, 
to lose the ability inside. This is very quite Right, this is very intuitive, not, not so rigorous, not so accurate. This part is a bit of spherical meaning. So typically for bright mode is dark mode, I said. And for dark mode is a high order mode. It's like cold mode, you cannot eat inside. Okay. For bright, bright mode can be inside the dark mode when they close each other. When the interference they have spinal resonance. Okay? So, so let me calculate because you have to have assignment. So it will be less than careful. I give an assignment. Okay, so the so first, first case of bright mode only coupling to the variation channel. I mean, bright mode does not couple to the dark mode. Only at one point mode. It's about the shift. Only at bright mode, free space. Bright mode, free space. Does that mean that? Omega C is zero. Omega C is a coupling. Okay, coupling strength to zero. So you can see here, it's all the shift, but phase is from the minor pi to pi, from in phase to out of phase. Okay, this is before resonance, it's after resonance. So this is the first case. It's a Lorentz shape, very uh, standard. Um, uh, one phase, one resonance, one resonance, no dark mode. That's fine, but uh, from in phase to the out of phase. Oh, they, they call this in phase, it's an out of phase. No, it's so, just that. I mean, it's not here about this. This is a chain from 0 0.5, you can have 0 0.5. Yeah. So, why resonance, you know, the change in phase, the largest the chain, Pi, cannot two pi. This is a fundamental limit. So you cannot change the pi later from meta surface limit. But from 0 0.5 to 0 0.5, from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5, I mean the pi, I over pi. Okay. So this is resonance. So the omega, they have standard This omega, this is a frequency, it's a frequency. This is resonance frequency. So that means, uh, you should have to assign this kind of Right, right, right. Then, right. then with the phase that we can, how can we understand physics? That uh, to have the mode test fine. Oh, yeah. The phase, phase, you know, because you know, like like a driven, you know, like like a like an oscillator. You may use your use your 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 finger to driven this. There's something that in phase can be the driven, be over driven as yeah, out of it. See that's right, because it's. But you have a simultaneous I mean, it's not that uh, you often treat it and then it's out of phase. Yeah. You see, the phase is that the in phase and out of phase at the same time, whenever you excite this or resonance. No, no, no. So it, has, it has a different frequency. Mm -hmm. have different, this is a resonance frequency. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh this, this is all resonance frequency. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This, this is a higher frequency, so they have to jump. Okay. This is a basic Lorentz shape. I hope if you do an experiment, you'll see, see, you see your special line, you'll know which kind of it is Lorentz shape or Bano shape. Okay, so what happened for, so, okay, so then we see what happened for this uh, one bright mode coupled to the radiation channel and the dark mode simultaneously. When they couple the radiation channel and dark mode simultaneously, here you can see this is uh, one of gamma r is 0, 0 0.5, they couple the radiation channel. The omega c, this is coupling strength between the two modes. The omega D and omega D have two uh, different resonance frequency about, about, about these two uh, modes. Okay, they have the now sign because it's a high order. High, so this is You can see what happened. Okay, the first mode, that I means the modes around the 1 0 0.5, they have a shift because it comes in a shift, in a shift. It's almost equivalent. Okay. But here, this is special. It's a mode around the 1.5. This is a mode for this. Uh, Dark mode. Okay, so this is you can see this is the uh, amplitude for the bright mode. This amplitude for bright mode. And this bright mode, our little bright mode uh, location, okay, it has uh, almost no change to the street. But at a dark mode location, okay, this is a dark mode, we have one point five. We have one point two, sorry, one point two, this is one point and a three point two. Because it has a final shape. Okay, first thing, there are zero point. The zero point is, is part of the interference between relation channel and dark mode. I mean, the religion channel and dark mode, they can constructively, uh, distorted interference by the theorem. Another very narrow, sharp change, asymmetric. Okay, asymmetric. And interesting thing is the phase. Okay. From in phase, out of phase, okay, this is normal in the then suddenly, in phase, then suddenly out of phase. So very sharp change. Okay. So this is uh, just due to the interference between the religion channel and dark mode. But interference. Okay. This is the uh, amplitude for the dark mode. You can see amplitude 20, almost 10. Why? Why is it higher? 
we call it low BK loss. So they can do it near field enhancement using stackable. Because stackable does not really it, right? It is very small. So only this is only couple of this variable, right? So they can do the if they have low simple, they have they can do the near field enhancement. Okay, the point is so so you have the MP is a little larger. The the wall cannot have to expand the outside down, right? That is the what you said. The previous slide stayed in uh, the prime mode and the dark mode. But the prime mode is that you have a negative mode and the negative mode is in the outside mode. Yeah. 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 But in the dark mode, you emphasize that there's only no FLS and rain. No, 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 so you can see that, why you see it's special? Oh, why you do a simulation, why you do an experiment, you see some asymmetry, special, or change very quickly. Then you can ask yourself, this is very important. This is very important. Okay. So I go to the three regime. Okay. There are three regime for this final lessons. So weak coupling, critical coupling, and strong coupling. Before critical coupling, I mean the relation channel but the keyways for this uh, relation channel equal to its coupling strength equal to set. Okay, that means this relation channel coupling equal to its coupling between its dark mode. It's a mesh, almost as it is, almost mesh. Okay, this is a uh, in this situation, the electromagnetic energy stored in the mode is maximum. Okay, with a large infield intensity. So they can exploit it for surface enhanced spectral spotting. Okay. It means the EM mode and this two, uh, EM energy stored in the two modes are maximum. Okay. This is the first situation. But here, you know, it's not a uh, good because I do not consider loss. Do not consider loss. Okay. But it is fair. Okay. I just see the second case. Second case is interesting. Okay. If this uh, initial channel decay rate is much larger than this much larger than this uh, uh, coupling strength, okay? You can see, first it is become narrow, okay? Another thing is very sensitive to the dielectric environment. I said, if you change dielectric environment, the bandwidth, this bandwidth change very significantly. So you use bandwidth to detect the environment change. They can do a sensing. And in this regime, they can do a sensing. Very, 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 very sensitive to this dielectric environment. Okay, when this radiation uh, rate is larger than this coupling rate, we call it weight coupling. For this strong coupling, so this is also a crazy coupling. For strong coupling, you can see what happened. For this strong coupling, the two peak is a split to a weight. Split to a weight. Because the omega C is much lighter than the decay rate. I mean, the coupling is too strong, too strong. DK loss can be, can be ignored, you know, right? But when coupling too strong, it's weak, but too aggressive will be far away. You can see far away, okay? So at this, this case, you can see, the amplitude is comparable, you can see. But it's weak. They have a high weight mode, the high weight mode, the two more energy with a different mode. It's three region. This work is done by the common margin, the margin F. It's done this work. So to give us three region, it was the first time. A summary. I draw this picture by myself using my model. I think I use this model. Okay, I use a couple more model. So, what's your task? What's your assignment? Okay, this is original, uh, you know, original uh, final spectral. This is a uh, relation loss, no loss, right? But the plasmodic system different here. RP here has relation loss. Also have ohmic loss, right? You have a loss in material. For that mode, you also have ohmic loss. This is a fully picture. Okay. So your task is increase the RD. See what happened for all the things. Okay. This is your task. Okay. I give you all time. This is easier. Okay. For you. 
no, no, no need for this. Just cut the cell. This is a cell called vector S. Let me see some case. I see the first case now we have three. So first case is a I think it's the first experimental paper published in nano letter. It's a very very classical you know, paper in this field. You can see here. This uh, this is uh, we call a uh, monopole. It's coupled to a uh, it's a monomer coupled to a dimer. Okay, the monomer is a one and it's a one together. And the, the dimer is two together. We call monomer coupled. Okay, what you feel is polarized. Along horizontal, okay. This is a uh, yellow. Okay. The polarized along here. Okay. You see what happened? They has dark mode, but they has bright mode. Dipole also has bright mode. Okay. Why? Why there is no 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 polar mode? You can see this is chart is negative. This positive. This, this it has you know um, some turn force. So it's a lower mode. This is a normal. So I just I don't think it's really important. And different. I just draw this picture. Why is a monomer coupled to diamond? Uh, okay. This is a so this a, okay. This is a this very good example. Okay. What if you polarize along here? This positive. This is negative. This is positive. This is next. You can see here. This is a okay. This is attraction force. Okay. So this match everything are dipole. Okay. This dipole. But okay. While well, if you is a lot here. It's quite different. It's positive. This is negative. Oh, this is should be negative. Okay. Because this is positive. This is a positive, this is negative, this is positive. So this has a polar This has a polar So this is the first situation. So I will go back. You can see, but if you polarize around here, this is positive, this is negative. Okay, this is the diagonal mode. But this positive should be a trend. This is negative. This is negative, this is a trend, it's positive. So they become a polar mode. When they couple each other, the near field elements are coupling very strong for surface plasma effect. We can excite this time. So you can see this is symmetrical lines, very right? different. This is lens shape. Okay, this is fellow shape and the fellow thing in this building. So this is the first paper experiment we have for this. But not sharp. Maybe it's lost it too large. Okay, not sharp. Okay, so this is the first case. Very classical case. Okay, I we have break. A ten minutes break. Now we how about later? Well, the picture is a bright mode. Bright mode typically is on micro mode. It's a, it has a dipolar, uh, it has a uh, lower frequency, the uh, dark mode has a higher frequency, a portable mode, okay, so it has a older mode. They can couple to each other, but only a dark mode has coupled to the uh, uh, plane wave. So, this is first case. The first case, I think this is a very good example. Why you polarize on a wide direction and dark mode for this uh, single scatter and portable mode? For this uh, 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 diamond, okay. So you can see the positive is attracting negative. The negative charge attracting positive. So that's a polar mode. So you can count. But here, no, no polar mode. You can see. When you polarize on here, it's negative. Okay. So it's polarizing direction of the polar. This is experiment. This is simulation. This is experiment. You can see it has noise. Okay. It has noise. This is also later. You know, not so perfect. I don't know why they have noise. I, I, I remember in the average, but for some of them, I did not see that they have noise. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. very elegant. I don't know why they have noise. <laughs> the geometry is not perfect. Right, maybe it's right. right. No problem. Right. 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 No problem. This, this is a little key issue. No you can see the scales. Okay. okay. Another thing I think is uh, it's a fan. A fan is a word. The fan is a word. It's, it's also very good. Okay, this is photonic crystal, then. Right? Because of photonic crystal. Huh? This is 3D effect. Why is cavity here? This cavity. Another just just put the two together in this channel. Okay, in this channel. Okay. First thing, if I remove the two scatter, I remove this two scatter. Just direct channel. This is cavity. This is direction. This is also no. It's not a not a very. It's all asymmetric, but it's a. 
typically is not a very good fellow residence. But they introduce a two point, you can see it has a very standard fellow residence, asymmetric spectrum, very sharp change. Okay, this why why they introduce this? this? Okay. I just let me explain that. why they introduce this. Uh point is Introduce the defect in here. This is smaller. We also use the defect in here. Okay. You can see if I introduce defect, what happen? Instant wave. You flash it. This is first. Another. Coupling to the cavity. Also have a flash wave. Third. Instant wave. Up to this defect. Interference. Many interference. Okay. For this defect, reflective wave. For couple to the cavity, another interference. Reflective wave. This is third effect, also interference. So, so they introduce, they increase the interference. Or else, if you know these two together, only has a cavity wave. So, what's the, what's the idea? Okay, what's the idea? So, typically, when the input and output poles are coupled both directly, okay, and input and output coupled both directly, okay, and through a cavity, okay, they have the resonance, they have the, they have final resonance. Why they have final resonance? Because they have discrete. This is discrete spectral, right? Because one resonance has discrete, right? Very narrow, one single pole. This is a continuing, right? Continuing, no resonance, continuing interference. Okay, each other. But uh, this this all we call fellow resonance somewhere by. But this fellow resonance, no, well, the spectral is uh, not so asymmetric. So fan just add two defect here to, in, to increase the interference channel. Right, interference become very rich. So it's the interference channel to make this asymmetric. Okay, very sharp. Okay. So here, if the direct coupling, if the direct coupling is not perfect, it's called direct coupling without this. this Direct coupling. Okay? If I remove two, it's perfect. So 100 percent And add this not 100 percent it's not perfect. I'm partially reflecting. Okay? Even without the cavity. Okay? Then we obtain an asymmetric spectrum or sharp resonance. But this is highly size. It's very soon, you can see. 2002. Okay. And then you know final resonance. At that time they know final resonance back. Okay. Even if you 10 years ago, people don't study final resonance in fast mode. For the end of the do a this by the fast. So I shall do Professor, yeah. question. Yeah. Um, so you talk about if uh, there is a final mode, then you need to cut down to find the continuum to a discrete yeah. right? But now you are partially reduce the continuum. Right? You are you are making it uh, uh yeah. less broad. You 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 said so you, uh, it is not continuum uh, yeah. anymore, right? Not not a, uh you know the I go to the first figure, that's a good question. So you can couple up continuum, you also can couple up broadband. You know, just just broadband, it's like a dipole and portable. Dipole is not a continuum, you know. It's broadband and couple narrow bands, okay. Why? Why? Why why the continuum means perfect? Why the when the continuum is perfect, just I remove the two defects, why the continuum is perfect? So it has uh, something like this. Right, also the so so final resonance, right? Why is that there? When you when you use couple more theory and derive this is the case. When you use couple more theory, you, you analyze this, you'll find that it's a similar to the this shape, they're not so bad. When you direct, you will know if I I not introduce this, okay, interference is not, not, not enough. Because first, this instant wave, right? The reflective wave only has better cavity. Okay, so but here there are many, many reflective waves. Interference each other. So final resonance, the most important is the interference. It should be interference. Distractively apply interference between the continuum and the discrete. So it will introduce this interference. Okay. In initially interference is not good not enough. Not complicated. This is the case. It's by the fan. Okay. Then another <laughs> it's very also very popular. People study the uh, graphene of many of you this function of whole dance. Also, fan You can see this is bright mode, it's dipole mode. They polarize, it's dipole mode. Right? 
they have they have a high order mode. The high order mode is interesting. The net you can see this uh, this net dipole this this a high order mode. This is around here. The night dipole into zero. So it's also like this kind of dual symmetry. Dual symmetry. The net dipole into zero. You can see this this the cancel of each other program. This is a similar to order mode, but but it's a well no it is a high signal structure. So it has this kind of by the interference it has kind of less. This picture is very good. Just just answer your question. Where is far from? No. They are not coupled. Right. They are very close. Because this shape. <coughs> okay, this one. Okay. It's only very separate. You know, know this. They also can change this size. I think a very smaller sphere. Right? It's larger sphere. You can change the different size. The company become interference become different. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh, this, 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 this I experiment, both I experiment. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is this experiment. This is experiment. I, I remember this, this is also is experiment. Let me do this experiment with that. You know, uh, you know, in physical society, I think the problem is that people use different names. People make the, the name is very, very, very fancy. Right. Some might call it bright mode. Some might call it it's a super radiant. Okay. Because it's a couple of play way, we call it super radiant. Okay, this net dipole equal to zero, net dipole equal to zero, they cannot cut for they call it a, a, a sub subreddit. Sub subreddit. Okay, it's a similar to dark. Okay. So simple reddit is sub subreddit. Okay. So this is a big thing. Can we own the bowl actually? Oh, they, this is anti-bounding bowl. This yeah, bounding is also anti-bounding. Okay, bounding is lower bowl, anti-bounding is high bowl. This is from molecule dynamics. Okay, so, so, so they have many, many net. People make this very fancy. You, you only write it for high mode, it's a high order mode. It's not good. It's like, oh, you see the silver red, it's 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 the silver red, uh, this is high order mode, but when they couple to this dark mode, they can be inside it. Yeah, so it's like a bigger dimension. So when they start to place the mode, it's a very hard mode. It's still inside it. I think it was very good. The PC is no, 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 no rest, this resonance is no cavity resonance. You no, know, this interference channel. I don't think it has a. They have a photonic crystal cavity. It's possible. They have a photonic crystal. This, this, this is possible. Another greeting, greeting or possible. And for this case, if your dielectric has the phenomenon, they has, they has resonance for your dielectric or some, or, or some, some uh, dipole that has resonance, it can come. No, no, what we mean is that when you say it's scale one, but an arch scale, what's the meaning of the arch? How can I have a lot of time? It's one of the dimensions, but you can find that there's some type of thing. No, there are two kinds of things. First, the first thing, you don't know. There are two different scatter, white type of antiphonal. This is ideal. And now you can use the same. This is the same structure, but two kinds of mode. These two modes can be converged each other. This is quite different, two different ideas. We get the only use of two, no, I am not using the two structure. This one structure has two kinds of mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess you can understand the photons patches of the system. The system is by the electron was the one to do the bigger size out there. Bigger size? What yeah. What's the meaning of bigger size? Is it in microwave? Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. Like, like, microwave. Right, if you can go for whatever you need for calling for this, I think it's also okay. I can start with the cannot. This one cannot. It's very difficult, I think. For, for so if you say, you use PEC, PEC, no, 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 Oh, this is possible. If we, if I think this is universal, first you should make this mode 
supposed to you make one mode coupled to a frame, frame wave, another mode cannot. This is for the first time. Another, the two modes should be coupled to each other, should be overlap, spatial and spatial. They, they can support, this is a universal phenomenon, even in microwave or, or in, 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 in optical region. But in microwave, you do PC do that, you have to be no, 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 no in channel. Because you put the source in PC, that will come out, no, not all that will come in. So we have no this channel, so it's difficult. You will die that actually, I think it's maybe possible. Maybe it's possible. But the point is, but I'm not going on. Okay, another thing called symmetric breaking. Okay, I'm feeling somebody in the field of symmetric breaking. Symmetric breaking is a quite important concept. You can see, why is this structure has two more? Why is dipole mode? Why is colorful mode? Okay. But here, when you shine a plane wave, you can excite dipole mode because it's fundamental. But it's, it's very difficult to excite the colorful mode because it's a colorful mode. You know, the, spe the spatial overlap of the colorful mode is al almost orthogonal to the dipole mode. Also, 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 when then the time will use zero, it's very difficult to couple a type of So, right, this is this, this key because of orthogonal, this is because of orthogonal. This is a, even, this type of mode, it has a uh, non zero type. This is uh, another high order mode, it has a zero type, it's a difficult couple. So, I'm making some order. You can see, I see maybe. So, this net, net type of mode is not equal to zero, they can couple to this type of type. But in that case, the time residence, you can see, have to reduce. Also, I'm not perfect. Yeah, it's uh, slightly more. Uh, maybe it has some problem. I, I mean, it has some problem. I'm the announced size. I, I mean, in if it has type mode in here, it also has this. Uh, okay, this net type momentum, T, not equal to zero. It also not equal to zero. So it can couple. Or else it's zero, they cannot couple each other. The difficult. Okay, this is a loose work. This is natural news. Don't, don't say this is natural news. People say it's very good. Okay. This started to work by a loop. Another is here. Okay. Remember the first thing I, I draw. I go to my bench row. This uh yeah, this is Kusha. Kusha has two more wise dipole. Why right? is the similar to the high order? This move is very, I said, it's very difficult to train with. Because it's not dipole to zero, similar to that. Because it's not okay. So, the Alon's idea just shift. Sorry. Just shift to cool air distance. It's going to move. From center, the shape, maybe they can see metric, they can inside. They can inside. Oh, yeah, symmetric breaking, because symmetric breaking, it has uh, many different applications. I think one is uh, they, they, they change the overlap between different angle mode. Another, I think symmetric breaking, they can create a degenerate. Because it may be good degenerate, like a circular point of the they can do the degenerate. This, this panel is very famous. Yeah. <laughs> because it is fabricated. Right? This, I don't know how to fabricate it. Right? This is an early one. Well, at that time, they naturally gave this review about this. It's a new Okay. Another is final resonance. It's, it's a grating. It's a grating. I call it a grating. But no, I call it grating. The final resonance. Well, the interesting grating. Also final resonance. Okay. Why do you do the microwave? It's all the same. Because I do the similar thing. If you use a, you know, a dielectric grating or metal grating, okay. First thing, there has a guided way in it. In this grating layer, like high Q layer. If you use the grating, there has some guided or supported layer. 
this guy is more narrow. Okay. I mean, guy is more box. A lot of IT over there. Another is continuity. Okay. When they interfere to another, they have fixed mention condition. This is important. Can you sign theta? This is the plain way, right? 2 pi MOP is by the flow rate mode. M equals 0, positive negative 1, positive negative 2. It's by the flow rate mode because it's pure structure. This is the beta. Beta is a propagation constant. Why? It has RE part. It's complex. Even in lossless, even in lossless dielectrical strip, strip, no any omic loss, the beta still be complex because it has a leaking loss. Okay? It has a leaking loss. So this beta is complex. So, so this is called, uh, someone called a quasi phase measuring condition. Okay? Not exactly phase measuring condition. Okay, the beta is a complex propagation mode, we call a quasi guided mode. Why is it called quasi guided mode? Because it has a leaky loss. Okay, even though leaky loss, we cannot excite it, you know, according to reciprocal theory. This mode has leaky, so I don't believe you can excite it. Oh, I also cannot excite it. Okay, this is so this is okay. Like, like a dielectric sphere, the dielectric sphere, just one sphere, you, you saw this angle mode is complex because it has leaky loss, radiation loss. And then you play with kind of size resonance. This is a reciprocal theory. So, the relation of leaky wave from the waiting and the leaky wave raising interference from the instant wave to induce some asymmetric spectral line. You can see the asymmetry, very asymmetric for two. So, while waiting, you while waiting uh, at some angle, you will know, shake your waiting, you will shake your waiting at a different angle. So, at some angle, they satisfy this momentum measuring condition, they excite angle mode, like, like your disc, your C disc, your shade of different color, right, in different frequency, they excite the guided mode, okay, and leak up. So, you see, you see the reflection coefficient equal 1, right, very small. Oh, so, you see the color, this is real, okay, this is a real, this is thermal resonance, okay. <laughs> This is a thermal resonance. Actually, it's the most most classic thermal resonance. This is waiting. This is waiting. This is waiting. No, I finished all right. No, I finished all. This is this is something I call about this. Uh, uh, this is all the thermal resonance I know. Okay. Let me talk about another thermal resonance. Why the thermal resonance is important? Why? You know, it has two review articles. Like I show the two review articles. I there. Okay, why is the review of modern physics and that is natural material? Because the review of modern physics, this is a very good general, it's just only inviting, cannot be summit. Each year only maybe 20 or 10 spectrum, very small. So what what is right is topic because federal race is a universal phenomenon, not DEM, not optics, but in semiconductor physics, but in quantum mechanics. Okay. So in semiconductor physics, let me say tell you about this uh, or G recombination. Or G recombination is Final resonance. Okay. We call algebra combination. Why? Why? Why is the uh, algebra combination? I'm not sure who. The first one, you know, the first people find the final resonance is algebra. <laughs> we call this uh, this uh, by this algebra. Algebra combination. How about this? This is a valence, this is a conduction band, this is a valence band, okay? This is a, another higher higher order inside this thing. Okay. Well, electron, this electron, go down to recombine the hole. This is electron, this is hole. They emit a photon. Some energy cannot use up. <coughs> And then use up. So they push another electron. Go up to higher state. Then realization. Further realization. This is a full process. Why this is final resonance? This is a continuing. Right? Why electron recombine the whole with emitted photon, like they emit a free space. This, this is a broader line. This is a what but another electron also come to a discrete. This is discrete. Algebra. So this is just a discrete capital program. So this is a final resonance. 
This is the quantum optics in also finance is the final spectrum. You see here, we actually have the square values and the square here of band pi is reduced to the continuum. Oh, continuum because when the electron over the, you know, yeah, why, like, okay, okay. why why is it continuum? Let me explain for you. Okay, this is important. Why not? Because I talked about this in chapter 5 in my talk. This calls for the next thing I'm Why not? Electron means hold the you know, photon. The photon is a free space in a many channel. Because uh, when you do a spontaneous emission, they have different channels, they couple different mode. So they call it continuity. They couple different mode. Okay, when you do the photon, they couple different mode. Okay. So this is a board. Oh, okay. This is a board. Well. This is a continuity. That is not really the continuum that people talk about. Uh, right, because when it was spontaneous emission, they have dipole, dipole emitted light. They couple to a different direction, different mode. Right, right. This is a continuity. This is discrete. Okay. This is discrete couple of continuity. Oh, this is my algebraic computation. Algebraic computation has three carriers: two electron, one hole. It's interaction with each other. Okay. Directly computation just electron hole. So the algebraic computation is the first people to find this is the final resonance. So final resonance is, a, is a, indeed a universal phenomenon. It's semiconductor, quantum optics, EM optics. So this is the people who started this, not just one thing. This is important. Right. So I just finished this. So let me go to the application of our plasma. I, I talk about two, uh, uh, because the plasma has many, many applications, I have no time to talk about too much. I talk about the third and the image. I talk about two applications. But I think the first the successful application the surface in class of MS okay. some, some, some staff, you know, department staff, right? some, some professor. Surface in class of MS okay. Why Raman scale? Surface, surface, uh, why, why the Raman scattering is important? Okay. Raman scattering describes the inelastic scattering process. Okay, this is the first concept. What's the meaning of inelastic? First is elastic. Elastic is linear. I mean, if I, I, I illumine the omega, photon omega, then scalar wave also omega, we call it elastic. Okay. But in elastic, I, I shine the omega, then, then scalar wave not omega. <laughs> so not omega. Okay, so we call it inelastic scaling process. Okay. So this is a coupling of photon to a vibration mode or the rotation mode. Okay, so this is the basic of physics. I want to tell you that for a molecule at a different regime, at a different mode, at a microwave, microwave, because the H bar omega is so small, omega is lower, so this energy H bar omega is smaller. So they only rotate, rotate, or what? Rotate the molecule, they call it rotate. So they produce heat in microwave. In infrared, as they get larger, they can vibrate. I mean, the nuclear vibrate at their equilibrium state, they, they produce a vibrate vibration. Okay? In optic regime, energy become higher, H bar omega higher, they have electronic station, electronic transition. In the electron can move up on a different level. So it's quite different. Okay. So this is why the optic physics is different from microwave. The microwave typically just heat. Because it only it only rotates the well, they call it vibration mode. The vibration mode or rotation mode is a lower frequency. Okay. But the photon can cover with this mode. Okay. This, this mode is still here because it has a photon. It has a photon mode. Okay. So due to energy exchange with the incoming photon, because H bar omega zero is a shift by the vi vibration frequency. This vibration is by the lattice. Okay. It's an atom lattice with vibration. It has a VR. By an interaction, it has a run mass scale. So this is a shift. In both direction, okay, you can see this picture. Okay. The first, they call it sometimes I call it also call it really scale. Okay. This is linear. H bar omega zero. I go to H bar omega zero. This is really scale. Because it's very small molecule, they call it really scale. The linear. Okay, they really the, 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 the this this uh, left, this middle and the right picture is uh, 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 Raman scale. You can see when they from a ground state to the excited state, this is virtual state, the virtual state, okay? Then they emit a photon. The photon energy is smaller than the original state because it's coupling. So this, this coupling 
uh, this is small shift by the VR is by the vibration of by the vibration of vibration of Another, you also excite this molecule from the excited state. Okay, this is slightly interesting here. Then emit the higher frequency. Okay, we call it anti stock scattering. The stock scattering and anti stock scattering. It just 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 plus or minus. Okay, plus or minus this vibration. So this is a called Riemann scattering. This is just a photon. Now there's a photon mode coupled to this photon mode. Okay, you have the vibration of photon. Okay. So what's the fundamental difference from Raman scattering and fluorescence? This is a fluorescence spectrum. Fluorescence spectrum. Firstly, the fluorescence only happened in the only happened in a rear. This is a rear, you know, this is a rear. Uh, Atomic level, okay, or electronic level from inside, from ground to inside, nebulization, and you need light. So this level are real electronic, uh, electronic level, okay, atomic level, and they have a broadband spectrum, and broadband spectrum. They also have a shift. You can see this is a higher, is low, totally lower. The only shift of where higher is lower is a fluorescence. Okay, fluorescence has no, you can see. No characteristic for all this broadband. No some characteristic, but, but it's for Raman scattering. Okay, it's quite different. I think the most important thing is Raman scattering. We they cannot do a rest case. You can see this is virtual level. This is similar to second harmonic generation. Second harmonic generation, virtual level, not a real level. This is very important. You can see if from here, here no no real world, no no real atomic level. Then it can be. So it's non-resonance. It's non-resonance. Why you do a real, real why you do a real level? It's called resonance. It, the same way it's, it's, it's stronger. Okay. Like a second harmonic generation. From omega, we do a two omega. Okay, this omega and two omega may not overlap a real real atomic transition. You know? So it's this is important thing. They call it virtual level. This is a phase spectrum. You can see many p. Right? Many p. So they can be low. Very useful because this peak gives the information of molecule. It's unique, so they call it a fingerprint of molecule. You know this? You know which kind of molecule? Like some people that use polysma use this maybe to detect drug. That's different spectrum. You have to detect the molecule. So this is a, they have some maybe dead base show a different characteristic. You know this? some signal process. Okay, they can do this. So it's a quite different. So major difference between the Raman effect and then this uh, 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 fluorescence is the Raman effect is generally not a resonance effect. Okay, this is quite important. Like a second harmonic generation, it's not a resonance effect. Okay, because they transition on a virtual level, a virtual level. So it, it can happen the uh, all the frequencies. It can happen all the frequencies because the excitation. By the virtual level. Okay. Uh, the resonance Raman scattering is stronger than normal scattering, Raman scattering because it's resonance. Right? They can also control resonance. Okay? They, they can control resonance. But even so, if the efficiency is still much weaker than the fluorescence transition. This is why people enhance Raman scattering cross section, Raman scattering cross section are 10 order magnitude smaller than fluorescence. That means 10 over minus 10. Too small, too weak. The signal will be too weak. So that people need to be cut in detection. Okay, it's very weak. This 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 scattering concept is very small. This is a good thing. People do that. Okay. So the total power of the uh, scatter beam is the linear with the intensity of instant power. You can see this is very easy to understand. That means the scattering power of over is a stock uh, scattering or anti stock scattering equal to A. A here is a, is a number of the you know, scatters, available scatters. So people typically when they do the experiment with the laser in focus, they only focus a small region. They excite some molecule uh, around this region. They call it effective scatter around it. And effective scatter, okay, or stock active scatter, okay, with the excitation spot. And the sigma is scattering cross section. Okay, scattering cross section. 
the I just in intensity or excitation B. Excitation B. Okay. The VR and VS just incoming energy and the scattering energy. Now this is what we're trying to understand. If they change from incident to the power, incident to power density, incident to power density is intensity. Okay. Incident power density over a scattering cross section, or the scattering cross section is scattering power and the micro A is a total active volume. This is a So we can in, we wish we enhance because the signal is weak. So I put the Raman molecule, Raman active molecule with the metallic metal structure. They have two enhanced mechanism. Okay, I draw this in two enhanced mechanism. Why is chemical enhancement? Another called EM enhancement. It's a Surface. Okay. So, first thing is a, is a, is a chemical enhancement. Okay, it's a chemical enhancement because when you put this molecule within the metallic nanoparticle with some environmental changes, environment change, uh, 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 cause some uh, you know, chemical reason. They, they, they change some chemical I mean, reaction process. But the older, the theoretical model, I don't know which kind of model they use, but they suggest it only has 100 times. Only can increase the 100 times. Chemical way. Okay, because you, you pull the molecule, I mean, in, in around this metallic nanoparticle, they change some chemical way. But it only has 100 times. But the most, much more important factor, okay, in total enhancement, is the fiber EM enhancement. Electromagnetic enhancement. Okay, this is the important thing. Okay, the enhancement has two parts. One is the incoming wave, another is the emitted wave. Okay, the enhancer twice. Right? First, why use laser to excite this Raman molecule? Right? Because you put around this EM, the EM enhances the near field. Right? Enhances the near field. So the incident wave are enhanced. Uh, the enhanced first time, okay. That is a molecule emit light. The emit light also enhanced by the by the metallic metal structure again. Okay, this double enhancement, right? First enhancement just enhance. When is the plane wave, plane wave to the metallic metal structure, we can enhance. I draw this picture. Maybe I put this is a dipole, dipole, I put the molecule in here. This plane wave. This plane wave. Okay. So for saying, why you do a plane wave? They have a plasmonic. This metal. This metal. This plasmonic effect. Right? So they enhance. They enhance. They enhance the incident flavor. They enhance the incident flavor. This is the first enhancement. Another, the incident wave will inside this, uh, right? Inside this molecule. It has dipole, right? It has dipole. It will emit, emit Raman scattering. This dipole, when it emit, it, right? It also can enhance, okay? All this can excite. This, this emission wave also excites the surface plasma. It also excites the surface plasma. They enhance again. So, they also enhance the emission wave. The emission wave. This kind of wave maybe has two different nature. One is it enhances the incident wave by plus one effect, another way it has the So mathematically, the initial we know that T S equals N sigma I, okay. This is uh, called scattering. 
Bowles section. This is a, a power density. the molecule number. Here, okay, when they do the two rest enhancement, one enhancement in enhance the insulin can be way inside the surface plasma, a cellular line enhance the field to inside the molecule. Another molecule emits the Raman scattering the signal to dipole, right? This dipole, this dipole wave also inside the surface plasma enhance the field. So it has a two double so finally, the equation become N sigma, okay, uh, L, V L square is the power because so it's L, V S square, and plus I, V L. So here is V S. So L V equal to E local V over E zero. L, LVS equal to E local VS over E0. So you can see that they have different frequencies, so they have different. The square becomes an intensity on the E field. This is the equation. Okay. So typically, because the difference, Frequency of incoming and the scattered photon are much smaller than a line, line with small mass molecule. That means the shift is very small because it's, it's a, a photon mode, it's very small shift. So I can you know, loosely combine the two equations. So finally, the enhancement is a proportional to the force power of the e field. Force power. Because it enhances twice, it enhances the instant and it enhances the image. The force power. So if you can enhance an EM field 100 times, you can enhance 10 more page. So this is a read. Ramen scattering goes past only 300 Ramen scattering, very successful operation. So E will power 4, not E power 2, because it has facts. The physical explanation for this enhancement has, two, has, a, has a two effect. Why it causes this plasmonic effect? You can see too severe, and they close each other, you put the molecule in here, it has a you know, very strong pass molecule. And uh, this is a company. Another, another effect we call the light, light, lightning drop. Lightning drop. For the tip, for the electrostatic physics, you know, for electrostatic physics, if the scatter is much smaller than the wavelength, the tip will, will accumulate the charge. You know, uh, you know lightning drop. I don't know lightning drop. They put, put in the, in the the top of the, your, your house. Like, uh, uh, the, the lightning here, it, it has a very, very charged accumulation that it has produced this current. Okay. Because it has a T. And the T, the E fuel, the E fuel line are very dense. Okay. You can see here, the E fuel line are very dense. We call it a lightning roll effect. This effect is not a resonance effect. Plus, more resonance depend on the frequency. It depend on, you know, and at some frequency, they become resonance and very hard. But this effect the out and resonance. And the lightning drop effect. This is a uh, lightning drop effect. Okay? Oh, this is experimental setup. Experimental setup. I, let, I, let me talk about this. I, I, I think this is a very interesting experimental uh, setup. I, I found it in the jets. Okay. Uh, jets is very good general. Chemical supply. Is that now set up? Oh, this is a pi 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 okay, here. They can they can bang, they can control this, uh, you know, they can they can bang this one. Up and up, they can bang. It's a pi effect. You can see this is a two. It's similar to pi They have two. Okay, they have two. Uh, they have three rows. They have a gap size. This gap size can be controlled by the pi wave. Pi wave is like that. They can bang. Okay, when you bang, it's larger. When they not bad, it's smaller, but they can control the distance. When they bend, they can be very small as much. This is a laser. Okay, this actually this is a picture. It's exciting laser. This is a beam laser. Okay, for one beam, you go here. This is the focus. I mean, it's the lens. I, I, it has some sample. 
and that particle pulls some, uh, some like it's some, something pulls some sound right? Right? That has a, 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 a excitation. Why you excite? The the drama scattering, the scatter every direction. Some some scatter wind from the least lens again. They go to its beam splitter. They go here. Then do some filter, some focus, and yeah, some pinhole, and do lens, and do spectral. This is an experimental setup. For, you can see the beam splitter is very good. They can split an instant wave from inside the Raman sample, okay? And, and then the Raman sample, they can go from here. So this is a way to do this Raman schedule. Why? Why read the paper? I don't know why the author had, had some intellectual here. I don't know what, what, what was the deeper reader. Maybe they want to take, take something short. Maybe they have a quantum color, color. I'm not sure that. But every other part is laser by this lens inside this molecule around this gap, right? And then it's a initial gap that goes to the leader and then goes to the Raman spectrum. The side vision is the Raman signal, goes to the leader and to the beam Another thing you can see the signal. When you reduce the gap, this gap. When you reduce the gap, you can see the signal becomes stronger and stronger. Stronger and stronger. Can resolve the peak. Can resolve the peak very well. Can resolve the peak very well. Now I I I almost finished the that's lecture, okay? So, I finished this uh, application of Raman scattering. This is a commercial line, very successful. Okay. Uh, then, So, any, any question by, by the, this lecture, any question? Okay, well, let me let me open up uh, the the map lab because I want to show show program because uh, you have the uh, numerical assignment for this uh, program. I have to show something now. Uh, I 
I use country L steps, but there's no, no response. So, so did you spend some time in, in my numerical experiment? Because I because I said this uh, lemma is uh, is the end of this uh, this month. Please spend some time to study this so far this is low for you. Yeah, so so oh, I remember. I remember. I must connect to HQ because I use this lesson.
first type of node because it's, it's another type of node. You can see. It's degenerate. Okay. First type of node are not here. The second type of node are not here. They are degenerate. So they have degenerate mode. It's a defect. If I had a silver cell approach, okay, this is a task. I just show show your, your what we were writing down. This uh, I use five hundred lines. <laughs> Not too much. You can try. I think the first task, everyone can do the same, not difficult. Okay. But the second task you have a little bit technical. Okay. First time is not difficult. You can try. You, if you try this, I think you, you can know all the story for all the story All the story problems. You can try all this. And I just show this my area. I use one night for this. Maybe two or three hours, two or three hours from zero to here. Okay, so thanks for attending our lecture.